Hello everyone, welcome back to another corner of the internet. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome also to another room reveal video. Today I'm gonna finally be showing you our lounge reveal, which feels like it's been going on for a really long time. Before I get started, there is currently a massive storm going on outside, which is why I have to have the lights on because it's so dark. So apologies about the lighting. And if you're hearing wind or rain up against the window, that's why it's gonna be stormy like this all day. So I figured now is as good as time as any to make this video. We started the prep for this renovation back in October of 2019 and our plan was to renovate the lounge and the kitchen at the exact same time we quickly realized that it was way easier to just focus on getting one room done before moving to the next we finished the kitchen at the end of last year and then this year as I'm sure everyone can agree has just been one heck of a year so far so there's been a few little delays but now we're here and this room is like 95% finished the reason that our lounge is only 95% done is because over the last couple of weeks I had ordered a bunch of furniture and home decor to go in this lounge before I knew that New Zealand was going to go into a at least four week lockdown to try and stop the spread of the coronavirus so for me filming this video it's currently the end of March we are going to be in this lockdown until at least the end of April there's a chance that it could be extended and I was just too excited to wait so I'm still going to film this video and instead I will just insert like photos of the things that are missing so you can kind of get the overall vibe all right that is enough of a ramble let's get into the tour <laughs> Okay, as I said, the lighting is going to be all over the show in this video, so I do apologize for that. But this is what our lounge is looking like. So starting with these shelves over here, you may remember before we had a big white bookcase that sat against here, but the shelves themselves were really, really big. So it made it really hard to style unless we had like really big pieces of like home decor, which we didn't really have. So now instead we have opted for these invisible shelves, which I think look really cool. We have a bunch of our travel souvenirs sitting up here. We also have some of my favorite Alice books and then this little pot filled with uh, eucalyptus and then this one filled with baby's earth are actually dried wedding flowers, which was pretty cool. This little bowl that I picked up in London and then also this little guy with a beard will eventually have plants in them but the plants are things that are on their way so I haven't been able to fill them yet. I also brought this which is actually like a plate stand and I just filled it with Alice books because I thought it looked quite cool was a bit of a different way to showcase some books. I bought these three crates from Kmart and my plan is to eventually fill them with a bunch of baby stuff. So as you can see here I've started to put a bunch of books in this one and then I imagine the other ones will be filled with things like toys and swaddles and just like other stuff that would be handy to have on hand for the baby so that like every time I needed something I didn't have to walk down to the nursery. Not that it's very far away. Then next to the crates I just have this basket full of toys for Subi. Above the shelves we also have the scratch map print which we did used to have above here anyway. Sorry I know you can see the lights in the reflection. So if we swing over from the shelves to like this view the only thing that's really changed here is we've added uh, two of these like pastel green pillows from the warehouse and then we've got a new curtains and a new coffee table. We purchased new curtains for the lounge that match the curtains that we have in our bedroom and the spare bedroom and then also in what's now going to be the nursery and then the curtains that were in here we have repurposed them uh, in our downstairs room. In between our couches we had this little coffee table so this is one of the plants that will eventually be going over on the shelves but it's just a trimming so I just need to wait for it to root before I uh, can put it in some soil and then this is another one that will eventually stay here but we'll just move it out of the glass that it's currently in and put it into a pot as well. Up here this definitely doesn't look like very much at the moment but we have got a macrame, macrame, however you say it, plant hanger. So the plant for this and also the pot to go inside this which is like a green colour will be coming but for now that is just hanging out there next to our uh, key prints from London, Paris and New York. To balance things out on this side of the room we also have a hanging planter. This one is from Kmart and again the plant for this will be coming but this is sitting next to some of my favourite prints which I found on Instagram. I'll leave a link to the guy's Instagram down below. I don't know if I actually vlogged it when it happened but the coffee table that we used to have in here uh, was like a grey one that matched this side table that you can't really see. It matched one over there uh, and Nick was standing on it to try and plaster the ceiling in the lounge and it's like a cheap piece of furniture. It's sturdy enough but not sturdy enough to hold a person and the whole entire top of the coffee table came off. So we do still have it. It is downstairs. Nick was able to fix it but it's not like 
as secure as it could be so I decided that if we we're going to be having a little kid who's eventually going to be learning to crawl or like climbing around the lounge I just didn't want to take the risk of like anything that could potentially be dangerous so instead we bought this one and this is from minor 10 and it's actually an outdoor table but I think you can't really tell and it works really great to get a bit of a different uh, texture and color into this lounge as opposed to something else gray one thing that we've also bought is a new entertainment unit which is white so I think against the gray wall it will look much nicer when it's like a white unit I will chuck a photo right here of the entertainment unit that we have purchased from big safe furniture so eventually that will be coming and my plan is to buy two wicker or wooden baskets to sit in the shelves I just think a again it will like add a different bit of color and texture to the room but also it will mean that we can be putting stuff inside the baskets uh, that like we want or like we don't know where else to put them but it's still gonna look nice because you just see the baskets you won't just see like all of the clutter and finally we have this section of our lounge over here this chair is just from Kmart it's really low to the ground I didn't quite realize that when we bought it um, and then this is a pillow that my mum made me since we bought this house almost three years ago now this section of the room has either just like been an empty space I think it's once held a Christmas tree or it's had uh, like washing racks when it's raining outside or mainly just a bunch of DIY supplies so now that the DIYs are like kind of coming to an end I didn't really know what to do with this space a I thought that having another chair option in this lounge would be good because sometimes when we do entertain people people end up having to like sit on the floor and stuff because we don't have enough seats for everyone uh, but also I'm kind of imagining this space it's like me sitting in this chair and then if we have a baby that is practicing tummy time or like a little toddler playing then I can just be like sitting here watching them play I don't know why I'd have to be sitting here and not over on the couches but just in my head this is like the vision that I had that like I could be sitting here watching our little kid play on the floor we also need to get one more of these frames as and when we can and then eventually they will sit up here next to each other kind of like the prints that we have in our hallway Nick has been working on a Wellington line map print and then he's also previously done a London line map print it's really hard to say a lot of times in a row um so a we're just waiting for him to finish the Wellington one and then b we also need to wait until we can like go and get them printed out but I think that will also look really nice up against that wall and then we'll basically be done the plan eventually is to get all new carpet in this house as well so we actually have the sample of like a dark gray cushy carpet that um we have just been like placing around the house to see how we feel about it in different rooms and i feel like if we were to get dark carpet we'd probably need to get another rug maybe something lighter we have no clue like if we even do that when we would end up doing it but yeah this is what our lounge looks like and i'm really happy with it and that is our lounge tour as i said i know it's not completely finished yet but i'm really happy with how it's looking i think the space is super cozy perfect for a day like today where it's like super stormy outside thank you very much for watching this video i really hope you liked it there will definitely be a few more diy videos coming now that nick is not able to work again because of the virus so he is home working on the house a lot right now so we're about to work on our nursery which is super exciting and also our stairwell and entranceway so keep your eyes peeled for those videos also coming within the next couple of weeks that's it from me i hope wherever you are in the world you are staying safe and staying healthy and having a good day and I'll talk to you later on. Bye!